Hello, my name is Stephen Wiggins and I am a speedball demo artist and today we are going to do something I like to call puzzle printmaking. So how that kind of works is I take my lino cut blocks and this is one of my lino cut blocks is a cat I carved out and then I'm going to like because this is one block by itself so this is going to be inked in one color and this is another block I made that I carved out from it and uh, this is going to be like the background image and this is going to be the foreground image and what we're going to do is we're going to ink this one separately then we're going to ink this one with another color and we're going to fit them together like that and print them once and then you could get a cool looking image um, this is a really interesting way so you can print a two color image and only print it once um, and it, I think it's pretty neat and I thought I was going to show everybody how to do it um, so one of the first steps is you have to carve out an image right and so how that kind of works is you just carve out what you don't want um, I already have this block kind of carved out um, this is an older block I've had. Maybe if you've done printmaking before and you had lino cut blocks laying around. Um, all I did was take this, I put on another piece of linoleum. I literally cut it out the size I wanted it to be. And then I kind of drew an image around um, my lino cut block. And then after I did that, I kind of drew out what I wanted to carve. And so this is a cat that's kind of like thinking about fish. It's kind of like a thought bubble. So I thought that would be really interesting uh, image to make. And so everywhere that's like black lines, I'm going to I'm gonna carve those out. Um, maybe later in the future, I might try to carve them out more. Um, but I'm just kind of curious to see what the image is going to look like. Um, Actually, you know what? I might just carve them, carve them out the whole shape so they kind of look like fish. Cat's thinking about fish, so that's what I'm kind of going for today. Um, so yeah, and so these are all speedball products. I'm going to use this speedball lino cutter tool to kind of do the most of the grunt work. And then I have uh, this handy dandy, um, it's like the dish drain, um, so that when... It's like this. It's called slip stop. So that when you put your block down and you're trying to carve on it, it's not going to move. So that way you don't cut yourself and it's easier to keep things down. It needs to just stay down. They don't need to move. And so, um, yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, awesome. So, uh, Thanks again for Speedball for letting me uh, do this and also for posting on Instagram and social media. And um, Thanks for everybody for tuning in and hopefully uh, we're going to get something. Actually, I've done this a couple times and I think it's going to be pretty cool. So I hope you enjoy it. And um, so yeah, so all that being said, I'm going to get started carving and so I'm going to carve everything here out, everything that's um, not this image here, I'm going to carve out. So in between with the goldfish, I'm going to carve that out. I'm going to leave this kind of the, that's what's going to get the color. This is going to be the positive space. This is going to be the negative space. And so. Again, it's like the theme of a cat thinking about goldfish and so, and but fish in general. So, yeah, I think that'd be kind of funny. My art is typically very funny, lots of jokes, and that's what I'm all about. All right, so the next step is going to be to carve this block out. All right, so I'm doing a showing what I'm doing to carve out this block, and so 
carving out all the areas of this block that I don't want. So I don't want any of this stuff. So I'm carving it out. So all of this is going to go away. So you just... All right, so we're back in business. All right, so the next step is going to be to, I'm gonna cut out all of this stuff. And just cut it out. First, I gotta sit. So, long cut, all you do is just cut it out. Cut out what you don't want. And because I'm gonna be making this like a puzzle piece, these line of cut, these separate line of cut pieces are going to fit together. And so I'll just take some, you have to make sure they're pretty sharp. So if you're gonna do this with kids, um, they have to be some heavy duty scissors. The kind of kid scissors won't work out too good, at least for what I'm doing right now. All right, so that that's carved away. The next part is to carve this stuff out. And if you get a little carve a little part out of there, that's okay. So yeah, this is um you just carve it out. A lot of people ask how I do it, and it's part of line of cut. You actually do it. You just carve out what you don't want. And so, there we go. And so, this is going to fit like this right in, like like that so I'm gonna ink one part of it and then ink the other part and we should be good to go so yeah um, I'm gonna get this little part up in here And in hindsight, I probably should have made a live video instead of trying to record it because I'm having a lot of trouble with technology today. But, okay. So this, this fits in there real snug, just like that. So yeah. And that's what we want. You know what I mean? So ink this is gonna this is gonna be one color, this is gonna be another color. So I'm gonna take out my tools 
again. Now I'm gonna change this this little knife. And make sure that's nice and tight in there. Just to show you guys. So if you see see how um there's a gap right in there. This is loosening it and this is tightening it up. And you see how it gets closer together. So anyhow, um, putting this in there and it fits right in that little slot. And then you tighten it up and it's good to go. And so put this on there. Now I'm gonna carve a little bit more of this out. Just for fun. Thanks to everybody that's tuned in. Appreciate it. Um, so I'm going to carve this part out. want a little bit of a border. So I'm just going to carve out a little bit more. So I'm just carving out part of the block. Remembering them carving out what I don't want. It doesn't have to be doesn't have to be perfect. Cause who's got time for perfection? I certainly don't. And so this little thing kind of comes out and again, I'm going to take, this one is a number five tool and it carves out the most the block so you jump in there, tied up, ready to go. And so that part is carving out the little annoying parts. And I like to have really clean images, so I carve out all the little little nubbies. Or I really don't know what their official term is. So yeah, I just drew the image on there and um, just carved out what I didn't want in the image. I think this is pretty good. This is ready to go. So yeah. 
So now the next, well, the next part is I'm going to take all my little line of cut tools. This is, has a little storage compartment and you just righty tighty lefty loosey twist that put all these in here and then tighten this back up and that's how you do that part um now just this is just like slip stop the stuff you use to um put underneath your dishes to drain them put the little dish drain so I'm gonna clean up my little area. I'm not quite sure what color I'm gonna put these on. Um, and the the thing about this is that it's gonna fit righty tidy right in there. Actually, I might cut a little bit more of this out. So, that way. And some more of these guys have got to go. So these are going to get carved out with the scissors. And on the back of this is like burlap and stuff, so that's what's making that noise when it gets carved out. And so, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink this up, ink this up like this, all nice and like that. And then this gets inked separately, and so these are just going to fit like that, just like that. So we're going to take a quick commercial break while I get the rest of my stuff. We also have red ink. This is definitely going to be for the background. I'll make this blue ink. So that's going on. So the, this is going to be red and this is going to be blue. So, to do that, what, what I have to do is I have to get some ink out of ink, ink can. And this is like an inking plate, bench hook. And it kind of just can rest against your table. Um, so, so I'm going to take some of this ink and I'm going to put it on this bench hook. So, how this works is first you, you take the little the black tape off. And so,
so that comes off and then what I usually do with this is all I do is like stick it on the table or something um, once this comes off you're gonna take your little like I have a plastic palette knife and just gonna just gonna peel it back a little bit and we're gonna get some ink out and then we're going to put some on a little inking bench hook And so I just kind of go back and forth, getting some ink out. Sometimes you get little, what I like to call terrorists. And you just kind of dispose of those. you don't want the dry ink the parts of the ink that's dried to get in your ink parts Next part is you just take a little bit of the ink and then you run it out. And this actually might be more than what we need. So I have a little solution. I have a solution for that. You just, because it's like too, it's just making too much noise. I scrape some up. That still might be a little bit too much. So you just scrape up some more. Now that's a lot better. So that's got some blue on it. And so this next part is going to be the fun part. So I have a little tip.
so these little these little things this one and this one I put on either side I put on either side of this All right and so once it's on either side of it then I get some tape and I tape it down Or we don't have to tape it down. So we just put some ink over it. That looks really nice, actually. So you go back to this guy and ink it up. Also, pro tip, if you put one of these guys down, it makes it easier to roll ink on it. And you know you've put enough ink on it if you, the gray of the block is, it's getting harder to see the gray. And you see more of the ink color you're using. So you're seeing more of the blue now. And so we're just going to run some ink on it. I guess I'm not going to be able to use the, these little runner things. Um, so we get some more ink on it. And then... And there we go then whenever you have this don't lay it like that lay it upside down upside down like that that's way better and then I'm going to take some of this ink and I'm going to put it back on this this thing So this next part is going to be interesting. Um, I'm going to use, I'm going to use this printing press to print it with. But until then, And we need to ink up our other part of the print, the cat part. So, and we said we we're going to do that in red.
So let's get out some red. So there's our red. And so now we got red and we're going to just and that's good enough for what we're, what we're going for. Let me just roll out the ink. So we're just going to roll it out. So we got some ink rolled out, so we're good there. And then we're gonna take take this and we'll roll it on our block. We'll roll it on our block. And so. And this is just like the first one, so it doesn't have to be perfect. You know what I mean? Because who wants perfection? Who's got time for that? All right, so we got this block, and we got this block. So we're going to put them together and print them. So we're going to take them over here to our press bed in the... The cat is down, and then his, his fish thoughts are behind him, all right? And so we're just going to like, now what I like to do is like take some scissors and just kind of like, you know what I mean? Let's kind of give it a little tap. Just like that. And that'll fit her in there. So now that's where we want it to be. We're going to get some paper and a random scrap of paper we put it on top of the block we get our other part of the block ready to go and then we apply the pressure so for my press and what I'm doing I usually have to do it like three times and this actually is feeling a little light so what I'm going to do is find some more paper to actually print with because um, all we're trying to do is just shiv up Make it more, we add more pressure. And so put these pieces of paper in there. And that should be, that should be good enough.
and then press down. And press this down. That's a little bit more. That's exactly what we want. That's the kind of pressure we want. And then press it down again. That should be press it down again. So I usually try to do it like three times. That's usually good enough. And then just toss all this to the side. And so here comes the magic reveal part. Let's see what we get. Yeah. And so there you go. And some of it, there's like some dried ink on there, but for what we're going for, this is pretty good. And I probably need to add another, need to add another fish in the upper middle part. But I'm pretty pleased with it. So there you go. That is a uh, printing, a uh, lino cut printing with two blocks um, and printing them at once. Kind of like, a, I call it puzzle printing. All right. Thanks for everybody that's tuned in, and I appreciate it. And uh, follow Speedball Art Products on social media, and you can follow me at Wiggins Artwork. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks again.